Okay, uh, in the last tutorial I showed you how to create some shape keys and uh, as you see I have a bunch of them uh, here in the editor and um, I can go ahead and animate these if I, I choose to. I have it all set up here. I have the keys modeled and all that kind of stuff. Now I'm going to show you how to uh, do some automated um, lip syncing with these. Lip syncing where you don't have to animate every single thing by hand. And um, in order to do this we need um, two things. First you're going to have to download this program here. It's called Papagayo. Okay. And it's a free program. It's meant for uh, use with Anime Studio. And all you got to do is um, I'll open up a... Uh, oops. Do I have one already? Yeah. Here we go. I have a project here already. And as you can see you load in a waveform basically and you type in the text that goes with that waveform. <laughs> And that is so lame. You will pay for your Let me let me play the whole thing. Oh, that is so lame. You will pay for your inappropriate dialogue. So as you can see, you've got um, a preview mouth here, which is kind of like a little cartoony mouth, and you got a little audio clip here from the Powerpuff Girls. And you type in the text that represents the dialogue that's being said, and uh, then you just go ahead and um, you'll you'll see that text show up here as blocks. And then you can start manipulating these blocks. And um, you could, for example, take this word lame and you could start stretching it out more. Okay. You gotta drag that whole block out in order to uh, give you more space there. So you can stretch these blocks out until the lip sync is about the way you want it. All right. Maybe you want that shorter. You can make it like that. Okay. So that's basically it. You can you can uh, type that in, stretch this out until you get the lip sync looking the way you want. And then once you've done that, you uh, can save it as. Oops. Uh, I'm sorry. You go to export voice. Okay. And that will create a .dat file. Okay. Go down here, export vo export voice and then you'll, you'll end up getting a, a DAT file. And so as you can see, I already have one. It's called lame.dat, okay? All right, so we have that. And uh, then again, back to our Blender project, we um, have everything set up. And um, I have these certain shapes, and I've named them this way because they're gonna mesh up in a second here with this uh, lip synchronization script that I'm gonna run. All right, so I'm gonna move that off to the side. And I'm going to move this over for a second. Actually, I'm going to maximize this uh, Blender script window. So I got the Blender script window here. And you go to Script Animation Blender Lip Synchro and uh, Load File. And now you can load that lame.dat, all right, that DAT file from Papagayo. Select it, and then you got to click. Oh, so it's been loaded. <clears throat> now you have to import that data into this project. So import loaded file. Okay. And now it will ask you to assign the lip, um, the uh, shape keys that you made with the uh, phoneme shapes that are in that file. Okay, so as you can see, it all defaults to the same MB um, shape. So we can go ahead and since I've named all these the exact same names, uh, I can just go ahead and select and line these up. You can name your your mouse shapes anything you want. It's just I did it so that I. I name these exact same th way so that I would easily be able to just drag these in into place here. All right, and I think if you go on their website, you'll find the uh, lip sh shapes that they expect. All right, and so I think RE stands for rest. So as you can see, now we have a one-to-one -one mapping. The L shape key goes uh, is assigned to the L phoneme O to O U to U. Okay, and then you just hit go. Operation is completed. Okay, now you'll see the magic that has happened here, which is that um, a whole bunch of shape keys have been generated for you. And uh, if you go ahead and play this animation, of course I don't have the audio file loaded, but if you loaded the audio file, uh, you would find that it does a passable job of your lip sync, okay? So what's awesome is that, uh, let's scrunch this down here. Let me show you. So all these myriad of, lip, of, of keys, you didn't have to do any of those yourself. 
okay it's all kind of automated for you and it's not perfect uh, by any stretch of the imagination but um, it does um, oops it does do a passable job and you can use it like if you're in a bind and you just want to get some lip sync done or also you could uh, start out with this and use that as kind of a basis for your lip sync and then of course you could go in and edit the um, edit the uh, data the animation data here as you see fit you could further tweak it and that way you don't have to do everything by hand so I hope that helps you out and uh, I'm gonna show you another technique uh, in a second here